Hi, I'm Peter Verity and I'm the coordinator of the Sheffield Group of Positive Money Supporters. Uh, first thing to say is that we were not the first. Uh, does this work? Yes. Our first meetup was in October 2011, but we weren't the first. Uh, meetups started sporadically during 2011, and I remember going to a meetup in Bradford in the summer of 2011. Uh, and in fact, I've met some people today that I met at that meeting. Uh, ben Dyson was talking, and I was thinking, yeah, if there was a meetup group in Sheffield, I would go along to that. And I waited, and I waited, and I thought, well, someone's got to do it. I'll book a room uh, and see what happens. Um, Mira sent out uh, invites to everybody on the mailing list, which of course was very much smaller then. Uh, I think the, the positive money mailing list was probably only about four or 5,000. 21 people came to the first meeting and we watched the DVD all about the money, which I don't think uh, is still on the, the website, but that was the one available at the time. Two important things we set up at that first meeting. First is a, a mailing list. And if you're going to set up a local group, that is surely one of the first things you need to do to, to stay in, in contact with people. At the first meeting, we had 17 names. Uh, and since then, it's grown to over 150 names on our mailing list. We also set up a wiki. Uh, that's probably not essential, although it was very, very valuable to us. Um, that's the address there. If you have a look at it, we put all of our... Uh, minutes of meetings, uh, events, future events, and there's also a huge uh, media library where people have posted video <coughs> clips, book reviews, and things like that, and also letters to our MPs. Everything goes on to the wiki. Later on, two other things we did. After about six months, uh, someone came to a meeting and offered us uh, unlimited free photocopying. And that has been absolutely invaluable to us. We've produced not only flyers and leaflets, but the Positive Money booklets, which are on the website. We've done over 500 copies of the booklet, Fixing Our Broken Economy, and over 100 copies of Banking Versus Democracy. And that last one especially is very popular now. We also set up a forum that is less useful, it's less used. Uh, there's only two or three of us that ever post on that, and if you post something new, it probably only gets a dozen or, or, or so views. So although we were asked by one of our members to set up a forum, actually it's not been that useful to us. I mentioned the, um, the mailing list. That's the... Uh, the sheet that we use at every, everything we do, every meetup and every public event and so on. Uh, there's a place for email and a column for tick for the Sheffield email list or the national email list. I look after the Sheffield email system and I send out emails probably a couple of times a month. Um, and if people tick in the national column as well, then I send the, the names to Mira and they get added to the national list. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the meetups we've had. We've had 22 meetings. We have monthly meetings, last Monday of every month, unless it's a bank holiday, which really means about uh, nine meetings a year, and we've been going two and a half years. And I thought it would be useful to talk about some of the ups and downs that we've had. The first, and I've divided it into three phases. The first phase, is those first five points, which takes us up to March 2012. In those meetings, we were trying to get a speaker or a topic, either somebody from within the group or somebody from outside the group to come and give us a talk. And that, that's very demanding. Not only is it demanding, I was the only one that was doing it. And you have to constantly be thinking a month two months ahead, even more. If, you, if you're after, after an, uh, an external speaker, you might speak to someone and they say, no, can't do it. Someone else might say, yes, I can do it, but in two months' time. And it was a lot of effort. We weren't really 
advertising our events very well, and the attendance was dropping. And you'll see that in March 2012, the fifth point along, we had eight people turn up, and we had an invited speaker who was uh, an ex-MP. And it was very embarrassing to invite this MP along to talk about lobbying and so on, and only eight people turned up. So that was really our first crisis point. And it may be that if you go down the same road, you will hit something like that in a few, a few months' time. What really saved us then is we had a big influx of interest from Occupy. The, there had been a very big Occupy camp in Sheffield, uh, which had to be disbanded. And round about that time, a lot of people were looking for some, some other outlet, and they happened to come to Positive Money. And so for over a year, we shared meetings with Occupy. We, we booked a room. They had the first hour and a half for their general assembly. We had the second hour and a half for our Positive Money meeting. And half a dozen or so people would stay on into our meeting as well. We tended to take up the Occupy idea of open forums, which basically means you have everybody sitting around in a circle, a facilitator, and everybody can just say what they want to do, which is great. You get to know people. People come up with lots of ideas, but actually you don't have much focus. You don't have really much uh, activity. So eventually that also lost focus. Those people gradually drifted away. Um, and I think one of the features that we've found is that there is quite a big turnover of people. People come into the group, they'll come to a few meetings, they've probably found out what they want to know, but they don't want to become activists, so they drift away, and then some more people come in. But we came to a second crisis point. The, the very lowest point, actually, is an anomaly. That one on July the two, 2012. Um, it so happens that the, the Olympic torch relay was in Sheffield that same evening. <laughs> and there were thousands and thousands of people in Sheffield outside the hall where we were meeting. And we only had six people turn up. So ignoring that anomaly, you'll see that there is gradually a drift down to um, June 2013, summer of last year. Eventually, we lost focus and we thought we really need to relaunch. We have a group of probably half a dozen core members who are really active and really keen on taking this forward. So I, I said, look, we've got to do something about these meetups. I can't think about every meetup, what we're going to do. Let's have a rotor. So we've got six people now who take responsibility on a rotor basis for deciding what's going to happen at the meetup. Maybe they give a talk themselves, maybe they invite a speaker, but they take full responsibility. I still do the room bookings, I still do the email list, but they take responsibility um, for what happens at that meeting. And what we're trying to do is to put on a series of talks which are loosely related to economics, banking, monetary reform, with the idea of getting the public in and then using that as a platform to sell the idea of positive money. Uh, we're also much better at advertising to the public. There are a couple of free uh, forums that we use in Sheffield and we advertise in the, in the local paper. Other events that we do. We've done a number of talks over two and a half years, mainly to the, the soft left, liberal left, people like Occupy Transition, the Green Party, and a few other groups. We've put on a number of public events. Uh, ben Dyson came and we did a question time format with Ben Dyson. We've, we've put on the scre a screening of 97% owned twice. And those big events tend to attract an audience of probably around about 40. We have had an attempt to approach our MPs. Um, Paul Blomfield, most of the people in our group are in Sheffield Central, and many of them have approached Paul Blomfield, who's Labour, 
who's been very good at understanding positive money, but he has reservations. We've also had two people um, spend time with Nick Clegg. Uh, Steve at the back is, is one of them. Um, and in every case, we've had rather a lukewarm response from our MPs. So that's something that we're not planning to take forward at the moment. The other thing we do is street stalls. Uh, the annual green fair we've done twice. There's, um, Peace in the Park is a, is a huge jamboree that happens uh, with maybe 10,000 people turning up, like a big rock concert and stalls and so on. Um, we've done four in the city centre. When we do it in the city centre, we don't use the gazebo, but we, also, but we have lots of placards and things like that. Um, you'll see we've got a table with loads of leaflets. We've got the mailing list. Um, and we usually find, if we do probably a three-hour spot in the city centre, that in the space of an hour, we might have maybe three or four people, or sometimes groups or couples, come to speak to us and are really interested. And there'll be perhaps people that take leaflets and take them away and look at them and, and then maybe put them in the bin, I don't know. But, but everything, is, everything helps. Um, I was talking earlier about how I first heard about positive money uh, and it was on the radio, something like any questions or any answers. Uh, and somebody mentioned positive money and I thought, what's that? And I went to the website. I don't know who it was, it might be somebody here even. Uh, that, that said that, but every little incident like that can be a trigger for somebody to go and find out, about, find out more about it. Uh, we have a team of nine people that, that run these street stalls and we're going to carry on uh, monthly from this month. To run a street stall, uh, to run a street stall you don't need necessarily permission to do it. Uh, you, can, you can run a street stall on any public uh, space, providing you're not obstructing uh, the, the, the pavement. There may be local bylaws that, you, that are worth checking, but generally you can do it uh, without any problem. Where we're going in the future, we're going to continue with meetups. We're still concerned about attendance. We'd like to get perhaps 20. We're going to continue with street stalls. And we're beginning to make approaches to the universities. There are two universities in Sheffield. Hallam, we've already uh, got a foothold in there. Uh, we did a press conference to the first year media students. Uh, the media students were completely unresponsive to what we were saying, but the staff were quite interested. Um, <laughs> professor of Economic History uh, at Hallam University uh, we, we're beginning to get him interested. He's coming to come, uh, give us a talk. Um, and the Sheffield University, the other one, there is, like the Manchester group, there's an alternative thinking for economic society which we're attempting to get, get into. I think that's my last slide. All okay. oh, right, no. Uh, we're also trying to approach the unions through the People's Assembly. That is my last slide. Thank you.